up everyone and welcome to a new video today we're gonna be reviewing another car I've been doing a couple reviews now and I do feel like I really like doing reviews so I want to just share more with you guys today my friend let me go ahead and take his V6 Challenger out for a drive the SXT model now of course some of you might be dwelling about it just because it is the V6 version not the V8 but that's quite alright now this car I want to just talk to you guys about it because it is a good car for the price first of all this car does start base around 25 grand we almost have if I'm not mistaken pretty much all the options here um, right yeah. you know I'm mistaken we got yeah. full package um, so it's pretty complete you know you got your is it touch screen of course yeah. touch screen you got touch screen and other than that the car is like I said it's really complete you got the nice seats you know leather and everything um, a couple things I want to mention about this car though this car is really big and heavy like you can tell once you're driving that I've done a couple cars in the past you know my Fiesta ST Focus STs the STIs uh, Mazda Speed 3s and they're all really relatively small cars that don't weigh too much you know they go from 2700 pounds to up to like 3400 pounds this one is in the 38 100 pound range so it could be a little heavier even though I feel like it's power to weight ratio is not as bad as you could you would expect it to be so first things I want to mention about the car we are on a straight road so we are gonna give it a couple pulls but let's just start running through the specs of what is done to the car now it's not too much um, because if I'm not do you want to do anything else to the car uh, uh, maybe maybe a tune maybe quad tips okay so there's just gonna be a minor difference is that my friend wants to go ahead and put on the car maybe in the future we'll go ahead and see some quad tips on it uh, a tune would be nice for this car of course because um, it is a little underpowered and I feel like a tune could really liven it up a little bit but anyways so getting back it does have a resonator delete right now as you guys could probably tell from the sound clips that we just put in the, the beginning of the video and also it has a drop-in air filter which just helps with the airflow of course and it doesn't really make a difference but um, without being dynoed we can assume that it just bu bu bumps up the power from 305 stock to 315 so okay so we're in a back road where we can actually push the car just a little bit don't want to push it too hard because like I said it's not my car and I don't want to be too much of a of a maniac in it I don't really want to push it too hard um, so we'll go ahead and put in sport mode right here the sport button in the interior and we'll go ahead and put into manual drop it a couple gears maybe drop the windows down not too much we're on bring it down to 40 in second gear The car does pull for a, for a car that weighs 3,800 pounds and is still not considered the most powerful of the challengers out there. The car does pull, and the thing about the suspension on this car is that it's so refined, and it's a car that you can drive daily without really having a problem. You know, it's nothing like compared to the other cars I've reviewed or driven before. They're just really raw on the suspension because this is not necessarily considered a sports car. Now, the sports cars, that, like you guys know, have a stiffer suspension setup, of course. This one does have a very refined suspension in which you know it takes all the bumps in the road pretty fine and you don't really feel much of the road okay so talking about a little bit about the steering of the v6 challenger now the steering does have a couple modes and you can access through the touchscreen you just go to your settings and they're under safety and driving assistance uh, there's uh, options to the power steering now you have your normal mode your sport mode and then of course your comfort mode uh, we're now in sport mode of course and the steering does become heavier let's see turn rate is wow holy shit <laughs> so I just want to mention this the turning radius is great I've been driving cars that have horrible turning radiuses like the Focus ST it's just trash and for those of you that have ever driven a Focus ST or been in one or or you have one you just know that the, the, the steering is just horrible I mean just it doesn't make sense but in this car being such a big car and compared to those cars like small compact cars this is actually quite easy so anyways let's go ahead and put it into normal mode see how that becomes a little different okay so you can feel a little more play in it not too much the difference but it definitely loosens up a little bit now let's go into comfort mode let me just access it okay Okay, and comfort mode does feel a lot more nimble. The car feels like it just wants to wiggle around and doesn't feel as stable. Let's go back to sport mode because that's where I like it. 
so anyways going back to the car um, I'm actually quite surprised that this car does start at 25 grand you know for someone that just wants an entry-level type of muscle car or sports car this could be a good option like I said we're pretty much the owner of this car is say 17 years old 16 16 years old which is in so you know it's a good car if you want to buy it for a teenager like it's not a car that's scary it's not gonna scare you at all because of the power is not um, ridiculous coming from the v6 and it's a car that does feel a little big but it's not intimidatingly big I feel like these cars even though they have a lot of hood and just a lot of space in general look a little intimidating to drive and maybe the visibility isn't the best you don't have the best visibility through you know through your windows or through the front or through the back but it's really nothing that to worry about um, I'm always a little worried when I drive muscle cars or at least muscle car bodies in this case and because the car do seem really big now this car doesn't you know you know it's big but it's not uncontrollably big or anything like that it's not scary and let's give it another pull see how this goes you know interesting enough this car does pick up speed really quickly like the you know you're going really soft you know you and you know, when you need the power it's gonna be there and next thing you know you're doing 90 on the freeway now we're not doing 90 on the freeway of course but it like I said since the suspension is so refined on this car you really can't even tell how fast you're going and you can get in trouble just because of that which sucks for a lot of cars cars like my car for example, for example the Fiesta ST you feel exactly how fast you're going and you know you're just gonna get in trouble alright so one of the things I want to do in the future hopefully would be to try to put this car against the Fiesta ST now maybe that won't be the easiest thing to do but or not specifically specifically this car but one of the v6 either Camaros Mustangs or or like I said, a Charger or Challenger go ahead and put it against the Fiesta ST and see how it does because from a dig I'm pretty sure it would take it but um, being that these are just you know naturally aspirated cars and my car is turbocharged it could be an interesting race to watch out of maybe a 30 roll and a 20 roll where the Fiesta does really shine so obviously in my advantage because I have the smaller car I would like to do that you know four cylinder against the V6 or you know 1.6 against a 3.6 liter there's a it's a disadvantage there anyways guys so I think we covered pretty much the basics of this car this car like I just want to say it is a great car to have the V6 just because it's a V6 doesn't mean you shouldn't get it just because it's not the big V8 doesn't mean it's not fun it is a little underpowered but I'm pretty sure like we were talking about that with a tune and a couple things done to it you can get it to be a really fun car and not only that but it's also a great daily to have since it is such a refined car and it's just smooth on the road you know and you pretty much like I said, you barely know how fast you're going at some point. You can't really tell the speed because of how refined it is. So it is a really good daily. And I'm pretty sure I would have one of these maybe in the future. Um, but all, other than that, I just want people to realize that just because it's a V6 doesn't mean it's downgraded. By, like it shouldn't be downgraded in the status of us car people. You know, we are, car people tend to like say, oh, it's a V6 and not a V8. We shouldn't really do that because it's not a bad car. It's actually a really good car. And for the price, even better. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you like it. We have some more videos coming up, so keep tuned. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. What is up, everybody? What is up, everyone, and welcome to a new video. Today, we're reviewing a new... Let me do that. That's the part of the Oh, fuck. <laughs> Is that a Z06? Yeah.